All right, so it has been a dream of mine ever since I was like 10 years old to speak another language. I have tried many, many times throughout my life to learn a second language, only for it to not really work out either because my motivation would run out faster than a tub of ice cream on a bad day or i would just simply get bored and stop learning so despite now being in my 20s the only second language i've mastered is quitting but recently i've been feeling re-inspired to break free from the chains of monolingualism and try my hand at learning a second language again but this time with my new secret language learning tool chat gpt ever since i've started using this tool to help me learn spanish i've been able to enjoy the language learning process way more and i've also been able to learn way faster than i had ever done before in my other language learning attempts so in today's video i'm going to show you the powers of using chat to learn another language and the best ways to use it to get started i want to talk about the first thing i do with chat when i start any new goal and that is getting getting it to create a structured plan for me to follow. I've always really liked the quote, a goal without a plan is just a wish, which is why whenever I get started on a new goal, in this case, learning a second language, I go to ChatGPT and I ask it to create a structured plan for me to follow to set myself up for success. So to get started, we are going to tell ChatGPT the skill level that we're starting with and for how long we want to study for. I'm just going to say I can study for an hour each day and leave it at that. And lastly, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create the structured learning plan utilizing the Pareto principle. If you don't know what that is, well, first of all, I really recommend reading more into it, but essentially in the context of language learning, the Pareto principle implies that about 80% of everyday speech in a language is made up of just 20% of its vocabulary. So this method will get ChatGPT to create a structured lesson plan that focuses on the most common words, phrases, and basic grammar. So we won't be wasting our time learning stuff that we're barely going to use anyway. So after getting a lesson plan sorted out, we want to ensure that we have a large arsenal of resources at our disposal that we can use to completely immerse ourselves in the language that we want to learn. Instead of being a boomer and googling for all of these resources, which can take hours, we're going to save some time and ask ChatGPT instead, since nobody can Google faster than ChatGPT can. We can say, I am a beginner interested in learning Spanish and want to completely immerse myself in the language. Could you please recommend resources such as music, movies, TV shows, YouTube channels, articles, etc. that I can read or listen to to increase my proficiency in the language. And then ChatGPT will give you a bunch of resources that you can go through to improve your reading and listening skills. Okay, so this next prompt that I'm about to share with you kind of goes hand in hand with the Pareto principle that I mentioned earlier, and that is using ChatGPT to generate the 1000 most common words in the language that we want to learn. So my method for learning these is by telling ChatGPT I want to memorize the 1,000 most common Spanish words by learning 10 new words every day. Can you give me the first 100 words I should start with in a table format? And then once ChatGPT finishes writing out the vocab, I just copy and paste them into a flashcard app called Aki that I can use to memorize stuff, and it is literally as simple as that. All right, so the next way that I use ChatGPT, and probably the most helpful one, is for conversation practice. With ChatGPT, now whatever your skill level, you can have a conversation in the language that you want to learn about literally any topic you can think of. You can either ask it to have a back and forth conversation with you, or you can ask it to role play out a conversation about a specific scenario so you can read it and try and understand it. One unique prompt that I really like to use to push my Spanish skills farther is to ask ChatGPT to describe a random situation in which I will then respond in Spanish. This method really keeps me on my toes and forces me to practice conversations and learn words that I'm not particularly comfortable or familiar with. Before we continue, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. So on top of learning a new language, I'm also working toward a learning goal 
of improving my math and science skills, two subjects that I have always really struggled with, which is where Brilliant.org comes in. Brilliant has thousands of lessons you can easily complete every day from foundational and advanced math to AI, computer science, physics, and more with new lessons being added monthly. My absolute favorite part of Brilliant, besides the wide range of lessons that they offer, is the actual way that they structure their lessons. Instead of watching boring lecture videos, Brilliant provides visual, interactive lessons that keeps you engaged and makes building a daily learning habit easy. I'm currently going through Brilliant's Geometry Fundamentals course, and each morning I like to sit down and complete a lesson. On top of starting my day with a sense of accomplishment by finishing a lesson, I'm really enjoying the challenge of learning the subject and the feeling that I'm making small improvements in my math skills every day. So to all of my lifelong learners out there who want a fun and interactive way to reach their learning goals, Brilliant is here to help you out. To try out everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Brie does things or click the link in the description. The first 200 people to click the link will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So if you're ready to start improving your skills with me, visit brilliant.org slash Brie does things to get started. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Okay, so next up is using ChatGPT to help you learn grammar. One way I like to use ChatGPT to learn grammar is to actually create a roadmap for me to follow since knowing where to start can be pretty overwhelming. And then of course it'll spit out a grammar roadmap for you to follow, which you can then go further and ask it to elaborate on one of the points or to teach you one of the grammar rules that it told you to learn. And then once it responds teaching you the grammar rule, you can go even further than that and ask it to provide you with some grammar exercises for you to practice what you just learned and solidify the knowledge in your brain. Okay, so at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that one reason I failed in learning a language when I was younger is because I would get bored and just stop learning it. But that really isn't the case anymore because now with ChatGPT, learning a language is way more invigorating. So on top of now being able to get it to provide resources to make language learning more fun and being able to have an interesting conversation with it, we can also get it to write us stories, songs, jokes, poems, whatever we want, or we can even get it to play a game with us in the language that we want to learn. So one fun way that I have been using it is asking it to write a memorable short story about a particular topic in the language that I want to learn, and then I will try and translate it back to English to ChatGPT, and I will ask it to fix any of my mistakes, and I can do that vice versa. Additionally, I've also been using ChatGPT to play fun little games to help me learn the language. One game I like to play with ChatGPT is one where we try and write a story together and take turns writing a sentence in Spanish, either until the story is complete or I get tired and decide to stop. Okay, so the last way that I use ChatGPT is to test my knowledge on the language and to see how much I am progressing. So there are multiple different ways we can do this. We can ask ChatGPT to create a full test on the language at our skill level, or we can ask it to create a test on a particular aspect of the language like vocab or grammar. Additionally, we can ask it to provide us with a specific format of testing like multiple choice questions, fill in the blank questions, or we can even ask it to do an exercise where it writes grammatically incorrect sentences to us and then we have to try and fix it. If you ever need ideas on how to use ChatGPT to test your language learning knowledge, you can literally give it a prompt like, what are different ways I can use ChatGPT to test my knowledge of whatever language you're learning. And you'll get a bunch of ideas like writing exercises, grammar drills, translation exercises, mock tests, and so on, which you can then try out yourself to see what works best for you. And yeah, that's about all that I have for you today. I hope this video has helped set you up for learning a new language or has inspired you to give learning a language a go. Remember that even though ChatGPT can make the language learning process easier and more enjoyable, learning a language still requires requires a ton of patience and consistent effort. And 
obviously you shouldn't just be relying on ChatGPT to learn a language since you can't really use it to practice your speaking skills in the first place. It should really only be used as a tool to supplement your language learning. And lastly, before you go, consider joining my Discord server, which is a community full of other lifelong learners and AI enthusiasts. So if you're into that sort of thing, there will be a link in the description. And yeah, like and subscribe, all of that good stuff. I will see you in the next video. Adios.